While I was busy playing my favorite game, I got a ping from Discord. I opened the app and discovered that it was from the official, unofficial Python Discord server. We're excited to announce the dates and details of the Summer Code Jam 2022. During our Code Jam, you'll be teamed up with about 5 other random participants and be given a week and a half to code something incorporating our chosen technology slash framework and a theme voted on by the community. This is a great opportunity for you to build something fun in a collaborative team environment. Absolutely fantastic. The technology for the code jam was WebSockets, which was something I'd never heard of. I did some researching and found out it was a useless technology that nobody should learn. They released the qualifier and gave two weeks of time to submit it. The challenge was to create a restaurant management system to match orders to staff with that specialty. I just barely made it in with only 13 days and 23 and a half hours before submissions closed. Here was my solution to the insanely difficult problem. I know, I know, it's pretty impressive. Fast forward 17 days and the teams are formed. My team consisted of Fronto, Chase, Sauce Fishman, me, and the team leader, Shorima Nimano. Our team name was unfortunately the Electric Elves. Everyone introduced themselves, and the only person who was an actual professional was the team leader. We all got access to the GitHub repository. Each team only had 10 days to create a full project and an additional 3 to create a readme file and video showcasing how to use the software. The theme got released and it was revealed to be, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Which I get it, it's a funny meme and all. But how are we actually supposed to make intentional bugs and implement them as features? I went to check the team channel and no messages were sent. One day went by and Shorima Nimano suggested that we share ideas. Most ideas either didn't fit the theme or fit the technology. While we were deciding what project to make, I practiced some code with WebSockets and made a simple messaging system. Another day went by and Fronto came up with an idea for a dueling game where the bug is to have information leaked about the position of the player Everyone agreed that it was the best option, and then another day went by. There was only 7 days left to code, and all we did was make an idea. Shorim and Nimano told everyone to join a call at a certain time, which I missed by about an hour because of time zone miscommunications, and I finally joined the call. Uh, popcorn, what? what? Gabriel, uh... For some reason, I was absolutely terrified when he called me Gabriel. Because that's not even my name, and I never told him that my name was Gabriel. I shortly realized that he read my About Me on Discord. Welcome. Uh, we, so here's, here's where, what we've, we've talked about so far. Um, we've got, so we're, we're going with a hunter-prey sort of game. Uh, they're in a forest maze of sorts. Uh, that's kind of the idea here. Uh, and right now we've got uh, each of the players are probably hidden movement sort of thing. We're still thinking about those details. Um, and then uh, the idea is we're going to use Pygame. Uh, we'll have two clients uh, uh, connected to the server. The server is going to track the game state. All the communication is going to be through web sockets. Um, for the next 24 hours, our goal is to set up, um, uh, uh, set up the game. We did not set up the game. So we've got two players on the board. We're just using basic geometry at the moment. Um, so we'll have two players on our map. Uh, we're gonna be, they're gonna move in a turn-based way. I think you get the general idea. Another day later, Chase created a script for the Pi game window. Shorim and Nimino created the server script. This is the first time I realized that the way I write code is a lot different than what most people do. 
I decided to make my first contribution, which was adding all of the client connection features and fixing up Chase's script a bit. It took around 3 hours to figure out how to do it, but it was all worth it when Shorumi Nimanomo reacted to my message. The only two people that needed to contribute were Sauce Fishman and Fronto. After a while of waiting, Fronto showed a map he made for the game. Now, I know that I'm no artist, but it wasn't great. Shorimanomano asked if he could make a higher resolution image and he started to work on it, until he gave up after making the lake. Shorimanomano suggested a tile set and he started to work on his third map and he showed his progress, and then he left the whole thing altogether. He never officially left, but he didn't contribute anything to the project after that. A few days go by and the project starts to look better and better. Shurimanimanimanimo asked a better server to client messaging system, and I updated the client side for that as well. Chase also contributed some more, but we were yet to see anything from the legendary Sauce Fishman and Fronto. As more contributions happened, there was less I could contribute because the code became practically unreadable for someone who writes code like me. All I could do at this point was fix some bugs and help Shorimanimo with small problems. July 31st, also known as the last day of the code jam. And Sauce Fishman finally joins the battle and makes six merges before the code jam ended. His last change had to be reverted because it didn't work, unfortunately, but at least he helped in some way. I couldn't really do much on the last day but test out how the code ran after every merge. The code jam ends, and we were only about halfway to completing the project. In the end, we did have a working product, but it wasn't really enjoyable. I'll show you an insane gameplay montage of the program. Now that's real gaming right there. When we were given time to create the video, Sauce Fishman volunteered, but the video never ended up getting created. So I guess that means we were disqualified from the competition in the end anyways. To end off the video, I'd like to sum up the code jam with a few quotes from Shoriminimano. Yup, the repository is submitted. The bug slash feature is the whole project. Alright. The final changes are in. Please don't merge anything else to main. It's working. And with all of that, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for watching and subscribe for an upcoming video in about another two years.